Howdy folks, Jeff Sangstack here. I want to explain some specialized audio edits, specifically J and L edits, as well as how to use audio from one clip and place it on video from another clip. So what are J and L audio edits? They are types of edits that uh, help your audience anticipate an, an upcoming shot or ease them out of a shot. So for example, well, this is a J edit because it looks like a J. And the J edit uh, shows the video here, but the audio precedes it. And so the fact that the audio precedes it, it's kind of gradually ramps up. It allows your audience to know that, oh, we're about to go change scenes. Or we're going someplace different. That helps them, helps ease into another scene, kind of like a cross dissolve for video, but it's really pretty effective. And it's used so often that you might not even notice it being used anymore. But it's a great way to help your audience get ease into the next shot. This is an L audio edit because it looks like an L. And basically this has the audio... Uh, continue after the video is done. Here's the end of the video, but the audio continues. It trails out under the next clip. In this particular case, because the two scenes are so similar, uh, I want the audio to be consistent throughout, and uh, rather than have sort of a little cut there where people could hear the audio change, I want the audio to be consistent. It would be a, a much more comfortable way to watch these clips. So let me show you how that's done. Go to this empty sequence. I've got these shots from the Healdsburg Gymnastics Center, which unfortunately closed recently. Too bad. I hope that uh, the folks there start up another center soon. But in, in the meantime, I've got this video, which I'm going to use for this tutorial. And this uh, shows a shot of uh, a couple of girls walking into the Gymnastics Center. A little tilt down and a pull back. So I'll use that as my opening shot. And it has audio in two channels here. The one, the channel on the left is exterior and the channel on the right is a wireless microphone on the director inside the building. So I don't want his audio on here at all. So I'm going to use a, a, an effect called fill left, which fills the right channel with the left channel. In case you don't know what that means. So now it's just going to be exterior noise, kind of wind noise like that you'd get uh, just outside a building like that. Now I want to go to the next shot. And the next shot looks like this. Over there walking in the building. And again, there's that wireless microphone, so I'll deal with that in just a second. I'm going to drag that down right after this clip. Now, this would be kind of the sort of standard way to do things. Let me take care of that uh, fill issue first. This would be the standard way people would edit. They'd go from here to there. There'd be an obvious audio edit. And that's not necessarily bad, but since we have two exterior shots here, it's kind of uncomfortable. So what I want to do is I want to take the audio from the exterior shot, the first exterior shot, and just stretch it out underneath, or just drag it out underneath this one, and let it continue to play while we see this next shot. There's an easy way to do that. You don't need to even shift the uh, audio clips around at all. You can use something called the Rolling Edit Tool, and that's this tool up here with a four arrow sticking out of it, the fat line in the middle. That's the Rolling Edit Tool. Just grab that. And what the Rolling Edit Tool does is it extends or shrinks, basically, the out point or the in point of adjacent clips. So in this case, I'm going to drag this edit point to the right. I'm moving the edit point, and that would then extend the tail frames of this first clip and then take away some of the head frames of the clip to the right without changing the length of the overall collection of two clips here. And if I were to do this uh, without using any uh, keyboard shortcuts, it would just do the whole clip left and right. And that's not what I want to do. I want to be able to just do the audio. So to do just the audio, when you're working in Windows, you hold down the Alt key and in the Mac, you hold down the Option key. And now when I click and start dragging, it'll select just one of the audio clips. And now I'll just drag that right or left. I'll keep on going here to about there or so. And now the audio from the first clip extends under the second one. Let me switch back to the selection tool by pressing V. And I'll play that. And you'll hear that the audio just smoothly continues. So there's no obvious audio edit there. Now, I'm going to actually get rid of this audio in a moment because I'm going to use a J cut coming up here in a second. So now I want to go to the interior, which is this shot here. Let's see. So I'm gonna, I want to see where I want the, the, the video to begin first. He says now. That's where I want the video to begin, so I'll put an endpoint there. And let me just uh, drag this down. Now, I could go like this. Or I could take his audio and bring it under the, the, the preceding clip to kind of ease into him there. So I'll take audio that precedes him saying the word now. And the way I can do that is I can simply do the same rolling edit I did before, but I want to show you how you can overlap clips a little bit. So first of all, I need to get rid of this thing. So I'll click on that, but you see when I click on that, I select the entire 
clip, the linked portion of the video as well. Hold on the Alt or the Option key, click on it. That'll select only that portion of the clip, and now I press Delete, and that guy's gone. I didn't have to do that. I could have made it go like have, have silence there or something like that, but this makes it a little bit easier. And I want to take this audio portion and drag it down so I can extend it underneath this clip, and you can see how they overlap. To do that, you just drag this portion down, and it doesn't it doesn't unlink it? It just puts on a different track. Let me expand the view of that track so you can see what's going on. Drag this down a little bit. Now again, I, I've got that uh, where the, the left channel is the room noise and the right channel is the wireless mic, but now I really want to hear him, so I'm going to fill right now. I'm going to fill the left channel with the right channel so I hear just his audio like that. And now what I want to do is extend his audio, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key so I just have the, when I click it, this be the audio that's selected. I'll extend him underneath the previous clip. But I really kind of want to extend the exterior sound a little bit farther, so it just fades out as this uh, as this exterior shot fades out. So I'll just kind of click Alt or Option on that one and drag that one to the right as far as I can. As far as it goes, that's the end of the clip there. All right, now so now I'm going to gradually fade this exterior out, and the way I way I do that is with keyframes. So I'm going to add keyframes. The way you add keyframes uh, inside a clip, uh, inside the sequence, uh, uh, the timeline panel, is to simply hover over this uh, little yellow line, which is the audio rubber band, audio volume rubber band. Hold down the control or the command key, control Windows, command Mac. And when you do that, it, that little cursor changes to a plus. I think you can see that below the arrow. There's the plus. And I click, and that adds a keyframe. I add a second keyframe. Where I place them is not that important, because I can always move them later. So I add four keyframes. I want to fade this guy down, so that keyframe is where it, the audio starts, but I can grab this keyframe and drag it down to about there. And this guy I want to fade up, so I want to have him to fade up, so I'm, moving, I'm just moving him over, drag this guy down to fade him up. So let's see how that sounds there, as the exterior fades and the interior goes up. So you see how that works? It's, it eases you into the next shot. And let me show you one more example of that. Let's see how this goes here. Hold one. I'll just say where he finishes his, his hold there. Hold. And we'll just do that, and I'll just trim it to there. I want to go to a different scene inside the building here where someone's on a trampoline. Let's go to that one. On the trampoline, you can... So I want to take the sound of the trampoline and put that under his, uh, his, his talking so we can anticipate the next shot. So I'll just take that shot and put it right here. That's where the video begins. So we go like this. That would be kind of abrupt, right? So what we can do is we can take this sound of the trampoline. I'm going to drag it left a little bit, just the audio portion. And again, I'm going to fade it up by holding on the control key or the command key to add keyframes. Drag that down. That's so where we can fade it up a little bit. Let's see how that, just that, that quick edit, see how that quick edit works here. There you go. So it just eases into the next shot. And now she's going to jump forward. And I, want, I told you I wanted to also explain how you can use audio from one clip with video from another. Let's see where she hits this, uh, where she hits the boom right there. I, I want to actually get a tight shot there of that. So I'm going to mark this spot in the clip by pressing the uh, asterisk key on the key on the numeric keypad. And that puts a marker here that tells me that's where her feet hit the, uh, hit that mattress that pad and I'm going to go down to a tight shot of that same thing where she comes along here and she hits it right about there. So I'm just going to mark that as an endpoint. I'm going to put that up here and when I drag the video 2 that automatically puts the audio on audio 2 so I'm not going to step on the audio. Now that I've got that t lined up I can just uh, slide this over a little bit. Let's see how that works. I got the two. I got the two shots lined up there, and the audio from one from this clip is uh, all is being used as well as the audio from the second one. I thought in this particular case, it's kind of cool to have both chunks of audio going to give it a more dramatic sound. So here we go. There we go. So that's basically uh, how you can do some specialized audio edits. J and L edits, and then how you can use audio from one clip with another, or in this particular case I decided I was going to combine the two uh, pieces of audio and line them up so that they had a little more dramatic impact. And that's how it works in Premiere Pro.